What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Barefoot Garage. And we're back on the 411 inside the car, trying to tackle all the things we can while we wait on some engine parts. All right, we are back on the 411 and had a lot of people interested in this project from last week, so we're back at it. Wait on a couple things for the engine. Uh, we ordered spark plug wires and then I found some. So we'll get back on that at some point, but let's take a look inside and I'll show you guys kind of what we're trying to do here. So I just rolled the windows down and I've just been vacuuming it out. We more or less have the car totally stripped out. You can kind of see it has that weird partial shelf that you can't get to from the back or from the inside. But the biggest thing we're dealing with is this hole right here. So the seat mounts on these rails Probably can't see that super well, and it mounts up in this front here. So we're gonna have to reconstruct this floor section, maybe a little bit of that uh, reinforcement there, but other than that, the floor's in good shape. So I think we're gonna start with that tonight, and then we're gonna attempt to get the master cylinder out. These are some strange master cylinder that's under the dash. I think I can use a Type 3 rebuild kit to rebuild that master cylinder, but we're gonna wrestle it out and probably pull it apart and get the bore measured and know what we're dealing with, because if you find a master cylinder for these, they're 300 bucks, 500 bucks, just it's not worth it. We're gonna try and do something a little bit cheaper, adapt something from another car. So let's cut the floor out, and then we'll see about rebuilding that, and then we can sit in the car, take the master cylinder out. Third warning, not a professional body man. Pace here, angle iron. Patch piece to bring the angle iron up and hold it tight. We'll seam seal this in, it'll be hard as a rock. Nice and strong, so we're gonna do our best to stitch weld this around the outside. We got one little weak spot in the back, I'll probably put another patch on that right there. But um, we're gonna probably get started welding here and uh, see if we can get this car back to being a normal car and not a Fred Flintstone car. Let's go. So this piece in the back has still got a little sag in it. So I've ground out these two pieces. This is still a little rusty. When I'm using the floor track to lift it, I'm gonna tack all across here and then I'll lift this one, tack all across here. And then in the end, we can shape this out as we need to. It's all gonna get insulated and carpeted anyway. So no one's gonna know unless they watch this video. All right, you can see we have a nice little welding cloud. We're gonna go outside and take a break for a couple minutes. Let this cool down. I uh, may put a few more tacks on it, may seam seal it or just use undercoating or who knows what we know. We do have some like uh, knockoff boom mat that we're gonna put in there. And uh, now we're gonna try and get that mat shoulder out. And my worry is that we're gonna have to take the air conditioner out. There's a master shoulder up there. Let's try it. All right, never said it would be pretty, but I'd say it's gonna be strong. Okay. All right, I am committed to get this master cylinder out and I'm gonna to attempt to show you guys where it is, which is basically laughable. Whoever did this, I hope they don't work for Volkswagen anymore. They probably work for BMW making things complicated. So I'm gonna set the light down and show you what's happening. Okay. We're under the dash, steering column is here, air conditioning is here, brake pedal is here. 
We got wires holding up wires. Just get some of this out of the way. If you go way down, there is the master cylinder under the dash, held on with these two giant bolts. So that clevis pin is going to be almost impossible to get to up there. Um, I can get the lines off and I think I can do that, but uh, this is gonna be a chore. The good news is it is not seized. I do think we can get it rebuilt or we can rebuild it or whatever we're gonna do. So now I'm gonna struggle with this. There's really no way to film it. Once I get it out, I'll give you some tips, but uh, wish me luck. Okay, update. I sacrificed the shield. Sorry. There's two brake pressure switches. The lines come out from the side and I'm not sure how well you can see that. They're both pretty rusty. So I may just have to cut the brake line a little bit back and splice it. I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to get these off, but if I have to cut it, I'll cut it right here and I'll just splice in a new piece. The reservoirs seem to come from up there and they're the, like push-in style, like, uh, I don't know, like the 914s maybe. And so we're gonna pop that off. The only thing I'm worried about is that clevis on the back side where the brake pedal pivots off this cantilever ridiculous thing. So uh, we're gonna keep at it. Success. I got it out, but the push rod is gonna stay because there's a snap ring on the way back. There's a 0% chance I'm taking that out. I will just leave the push rod in there and change the master cylinder and let that be. Hopefully it is fine. The pivot does work. So we can do this one hand. Need some saucing up, but uh, brakes is brakes and it'll work. So that is where we're gonna leave it off for the barefoot garage tonight. We finally are making some headway on the 411. Now that the floor is done, we can start with clean wire wheel, brush, paint, seal, inside, headliner, glass out, um, all of that kind of stuff. So uh, we are gonna make progress on the motor. We're gonna make progress on the inside at the same time. We got wheels and tires. They're in the other side of the garage. And you can let us know what you think about the 411 if you work on it. Seems to be a favorite amongst the things we're working on the channel, especially outside the US. These seem to be more popular cars. So. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully it will be successful for us and we'll be able to get this thing rolling down the road. So as always, stay tuned to the Barefoot Garage right here on YouTube. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you're doing on your Volkswagen or air-cooled car or not air-cooled car. And between episodes, you can follow along on what we're doing every night in the garage at uh, Barefoot Garage Jacks over on Instagram. See you guys.